Good morning! Welcome to our general mathematics class. This is Teacher A, always reminding you to remember the acronym RAY. R E Y. R stands for respect. E stands for express. I am reminding you that whenever you have some problems regarding your lessons, or there are some parts of the lessons which are not clear to you, remember to send the message to your teachers via Facebook Messenger or via text message. And finally, always remember to try. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Our topic is all about evaluating functions. But before that, you have to remember something first. What is that? It is order of operations. Have you heard about GEMDAS? What does it mean? GEMDAS is actually the PEMDAS or the EMDAS that you know when you are in elementary. And G stands for grouping symbols. What are the grouping symbols? These include brackets, braces, and parentheses. After that comes letter E, which stands for exponents. Next are letters M and D, which stands for multiplication and division. For this case, we have two operations. Why is that? It is because they have the same precedence. Whichever comes first from the left will be the first operation to be performed. The same case would be for letter A and S, which stands for addition and subtraction. Remember to use this order whenever you are simplifying expressions. Alright, let's try to take a look into evaluating functions. How do you evaluate a function? It's very simple. How do you do that? To evaluate a function, just replace or substitute each variable to a given number or expression. How do you do that? Let's try to take a deeper look at that. We have here an example. For the function f of x equals 3x plus 1, x is given to be 2. To evaluate this function, this means that you have to replace all the x's that you can see in the function with 2. Thus, you will have f of 2 equals 3 times 2 plus 1. As you can see, the x's are missing. That is because we have replaced them with a new value, which is 2. Now, we have here two operations. We have multiplication and addition. Which comes first? Correct. Multiplication comes first based on the order of operations or agendas. Thus, you have to do multiplication. So, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And that is our answer. Let's try another one. How about if you have the function h of x equals the square root of x plus 1 where x is actually at 4. Again, let's just try to replace the value of x with 4. Thus, you will have h of 4 equals the square root of 4 plus 1. Now, in this case, there is only one operation, and that is addition. We can simply add 4 and 1 to get square root of 5, and that is your answer. Let's try another one. For instance, you have the function r of x equals 3x plus 1 over x minus 1, where x is equal to 5. Now, we are going to replace all the x's here with 5. We will have r5 is equal to 3 times 5 plus 1 all over 5 minus 1. Remember, do the operations on the numerator first and then do the operations on the denominator. Do them separately. Alright, for the numerator, you have 3 times 5 plus 1. Now, following the order of operations, you have to do the multiplication first. 
That is why you will get 3 times per time, which is 15 plus 1. Why is it all over 4 now? It's because we have simplified 5 minus 1. Simplified further, we have 16 over 4, or just 4. And that is our answer. Do you want to try? Here is your turn. Try to evaluate the function r of x equals 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Now, the given value for x is 2. Pause the video for you to track. Alright, time's up. Let's try to check your answer. Let's try to have r of x equals 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1. For this case, we replace the value of x as 2. Thus, you will have r of 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1 all over x minus 1. You know the rule. Make sure to follow the order of operations. We will have 3 times 2 first before adding 1, which will give us 6 plus 1 over 1. Simplify further, we will have 7 over 1 or 7. And that is your final answer. Did you get the same answer? I hope you did. But if you didn't, we still have another try here for you. How about if you evaluate the function g of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 2 at x equals 2x. Mm, this is somewhat tricky for you. You have to replace all the x's with 2x. Pause the video for you to try. Time's up. Let's try to check your answer. Copying the function g of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 2 and replacing all the x's with 2x, we will have g of 2x equals the quantity 2x squared minus 2 times 2x plus 2. Alright, so what do we do first? Do we do the exponents or the multiplication? Which comes first? Very good, it's the exponents first. Thus, we will have 2x squared, which is actually 4x squared, followed by the multiplication of negative 2 times 2x, which is 4x plus 2. And that is our final answer. Make sure you always simplify your final answer into its simplest form. Let's try another one. We have here the notation, all the world is made of faith, and trust and blank blank we have two missing words how do we solve for it remember to use our given function f of x equals x plus 2 quantity squared now for this case we have the values of x from 0 up to 7 but please take note that after solving you will decode the message therefore each solved value will correspond to a given possible letter which are indicated inside the box. Here are the clues. We have two words and the first word is actually five letters and the second word is just four letters. Now for us to be able to solve for this, we have to do all the letters separately. For the first letter of the first word, we have f of 3. We can simplify that by replacing the excess of the f of x with 3. Let's try that. So f of 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 quantity squared. Again, we have here an exponent and a parenthesis. Which one comes first? Very good! It's the grouping symbol first. Therefore, we will have 3 plus 2 first before doing the exponents. 3 plus 2 is 5 squared. Simplifying that would give us 25. And among the letters here, 
we can see that that is letter B. That's why we can have the first letter as the letter P. We are getting closer to our answer. Let's try another letter. How about if we try the first letter of the second word? f of x equals the quantity x plus 2 squared. Now, for this case, we have to use 0 as our formula for x. Replacing all the x's we have, f of 0 equals the quantity 0 plus 2 squared. Simplifying that will give us 2 squared, which is 4. Alright, among the possible answers, we can see that that is letter D. And we can put that on our table. Now, we still have some missing letters here. And that is for you to solve. Make sure you complete the quotation. Let's try to recap. How do you evaluate a function? To evaluate a given function, just replace all the variables being seen with a given value or values. Have you learned something today? If you wanted to read more about evaluating functions, check out these references. I hope you learned something today. This is Teacher A reminding you to respect Express and try. See you next time. Bye bye.